Rockin' and rollin', rockin' and reelin', bob around. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Passage of Skin video here. Today we're doing more PSVR stuff. Uh, we've been essentially torturing Will with a series <laughs> of uh, creepy experiences. Last one being Danganronpa, this time we're gonna do Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. Rush of Blood. Yeah, the Unreal shooter based on the Until Dawn series is one of the early games released for PSVR. This isn't a demo from like uh, Japanese or Hong Kong stores. This game is out and available and it's been out for a fairly long time. Being played with a little bit of dodgy gun control on this because of the way the lighting system works in it, but uh, essentially it's a time crisis game, an Unreal shooter, where you're playing um, a survivor trying to escape an evil clown madhouse. Yep, fair enough. Sorry, I've been looking at this and thinking to myself. I wonder if I could put, like, some sort of weird sticker system on it, you know, make it look like Iron Man or some bollocks like there that. There is vinyl sticker you can buy on it, but the problem is you want to be careful not to cover the lights. Yeah. The lights are the important thing. Boom, boom. Uh, I, pretty much anywhere in the white. Don't cover the white stuff, you'd be good on. Yeah, and then there's one in the center of the black as well. There is that. Yeah. So they, This is true. So uh, you, there's vinyl sticker sets that actually people are selling already for it. Um, I haven't heard any complaints about the vinyl stickers because there's some uh, some plastics whenever you put those stickers on, it actually melts it or melts the plastic. <laughs> so um, what well, was good? That's there's a good some rubberized grip object. Oh yeah, the Nintendo Switch. You put vinyl putting vinyl stickers on your Nintendo Switch can destroy the Nintendo Switch because the material that it's made out of that kind of like stop saying stop saying Nintendo. I'm sure they'll pull this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Well, we can say the word. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're on the PlayStation, so they, they visually they can't get us on anything in audio content. Yeah. It sounds too much like uh, my pen bow, so we'll be absolutely fine. Good enough for me. So we're going to jump into Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, uh, as soon as Will gets himself wired into this thing, as always. The Big N, the Big Any, uh, shit, or Shiggy's, Shiggy's Bunch, uh, Shiggy's <laughs> Bunch. Shiggy's Bunch. <laughs> shitty walk. Shitty, shit, Shamwalk? Shitty walk. Oh no, not my shitty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So, Russia Blood. We're gonna jump into this and give it a try. Um, <sighs> the. <I'm here. laughs> I was just uh, remembering the basic controls for this are usual gun controls. Uh, I think R2 will shoot, and you actually move your controller around to aim, but I think where it actually shoots is where you're looking. Okay. So, your, uh, I think your eye line is actually your. Uh, targeting rectangle, but you can move the gun all over the place so you can actually be able to see better. As far as I can remember, I'd be completely wrong on that. There was a very good, uh, there's a new game that came out literally two days ago called Mortal Blitz, which is a version of a game essentially like this, but you can actually, like, you can time press as well, jump behind cover. Aww. So you actually have a cover button, so you can actually literally dodge back and, like, look around the corner, blind fire at people, and then kind of like, go after them. Beautiful. Um, a very simple game, a very short game, but um, I mean, those experiences are designed for coin-ups, coin oh, they're never meant to be that long. Mm, oh yeah, so many pound coins. And especially whenever you're dual beating oh, on your own. Oh yeah, for the consoles as well? Ah, yeah. oh, man. I never actually, I, never, I think the only one I ever played was... Wait, uh, the intro's not in, like, 360? Yep. Yeah. No, I mean, like, if I look over here, it's still what's in front of me. There's not, there's no... Is that a true 360 experience? Yeah, it could be. Could, might Absolutely. not be yet. Oh, oh, what the hell happened? Uh, move yourself a little, one step to the right. Yeah. Maybe we should move the camera? No. Weird that you're actually being put out of the area. Even though your movement's still perfectly fine, it's being tracked. Huh. Hold down the uh, reset button. Maybe that'll help. Ah, that one is loading. Oh, there you go. It shows you actually what control method you can use. Do you have the wireless controller or the motion controller? Okay. Well, no, the only reason it's put me this is like looking straight onto the two menus. Got me facing this way. Yeah, so look, look to where you want to be. Yeah. No, your head and then hold the reset. Yeah, did nothing. I tried that at the start of this. Huh, that's weird. It's not allowing you to actually recalibrate. Again, like I said, this is one of the early games that actually were developed for the PSVR, so some of the kind of standard things that are available in all the other games might not be there yet. That's the biggest problems that you have whenever people are developing this. They kind of like didn't know what the main problems people were going to have while using it were. Um, being able to recalibrate on the fly during a game is kind of important in, on PSVR. Uh, because I, I was playing games that weren't VR, and I was fine adrift. So while I was playing a game, I'd slowly be looking over to another direction, and I realized, I'm playing Terminator over here. Hang on. Reset. 
<laughs> it's literally like a typewriter moving around to one side again. <laughs> it's like, it pretty, not pretty weird at all. So it's saying that you're outside the play area? I think, oh, duck down a wee bit. <laughs> I think that's what it wants you to do. I think it wants you to actually be in a seat. I'll do me a favor, go and you pass grab him, there's grab him a stool there. Which will be good for my kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's just the fact that the um, I'm on the bet some of these games were designed to be seated experiences, so that's the reason why. I already put it underneath your ass, so you can just sit back and do it. Yeah, finally got Fergal on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> find find a Fergal actually appearing out of nowhere. Oh my God, a Fergal out of nowhere! <laughs> <laughs> I find a Fergal out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, this kid looks. This is better. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sorted. Yeah, I know, it's really weird. Go to op options, see if you can actually recalibrate. Uh, yeah, go left, oh. options. There you go. See if it actually gives you option to recalibrate. No, it doesn't. That's really annoying. Huh. Well, how does it feel with the guns? Do the guns actually feel like you've got control over them? You can point them at things? Uh, this might work. There you go. Mm. Alright, so extend your arms out. And press X. Well, that's calibrated the guns for you. So I suppose that's as close as you're gonna get. Oh well, well, let's go for this then. <clears throat> Did you check to see what the buttons for the controls are? The buttons? Yeah, do you know what the buttons are? Yeah, but that's difficult. I'll just die, I'll just start over. Okay. So, start demo. Sorry, right, couldn't help myself. I'm going to go for easy for. I, I fuck it, normal but grand. <laughs> you heard that you're not going to pick pussy level whenever you're playing in public, are you? No. <laughs> no. Things have taken an unexpected. Oh. We need things corrected. Now, there's just one more thing. Don't be alarmed. You've inhaled a gas. Ah, oh, come on. And while there's no harm in it. There is one little side effect. Awkward boilers in public. You've gone slightly insane! Crazy as a coconut! Bestow upon you this kind of firepower, but you'll need some protection. The psycho who's done this is still at large, so I... So it's showing the controls. Shoot and reload. Yep. Yep. Reload and see that, I see that shotgun down there? Him and shoot at the shotgun. Oh, no. that's not good. <laughs> Shit. Bang! That's what I'm trying to shoot. Uh, I see what they've done now. You see the controls for it now? No, I mean, like, that's the right one. That's the left one. Yeah. But I mean, I have to shoot like this. Look at my hands. Oh, really? Yep. Turn yourself around then? No, but it doesn't matter. No, I mean, like, uh, to face that? Yeah, that, you have to face, because you're not facing the screen at the moment. I know that. Press the start button, pause it, and we'll restart it, because that's going to be impossible to play. Yeah. Yeah. So I turned yourself around, face it. I think it might have been you were looking around a fair bit, and then it actually, like, it locked itself to a frame, because you were looking around. Yeah. Could have been the problem. All right, so now you're calibrated there, now. Great. I don't think it's calibrated to me now because if I put this back on and I start, I feel that it's not going to end well. Nope, it's not like it. And I'm completely off over there. So, easy job. That's what I'm saying. I'll shut down the game and start the yep. game again. Oh, no. No. Just press the option button. Yeah, there you go. If you just uh, press the option button on the one that's currently open, you can just end program no. around content at the moment. I will use the way that I'm used to. Oh, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just saying. I'm just oh, so There's you, little shortcuts that are there. You game more than I do. I know. That's the reason I why don't... I run a gaming channel. I know. <laughs> what are the games which are like, what a fucking noob. <laughs> don't worry. Do not worry. Not like There's a lot know. worse out there. <laughs> right. What's wrong? Oh, ah, you're still outside the play area. Move the camera. Right. Essentially, I'm going to have to recast, like, close, close the program game and I'll get this. Out of the way. Get this 
<laughs> oh, this is interesting now. I don't can... know what happened there. Nah, we'll be balanced with the fun that we have with the <laughs> absolutely nothing blocking your view now. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, all, it's all shifted over to that side, so you may have to shift over a foot. So even though this is a weird side to play, right? I need some forward. Hold up your controller to see where your hands are. Whatever it's close to me. That's much better. He's taking... It's just, he's going to choose a motion controller by accident. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You just shifted along. It's more the noise, actually. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can scream here and actually be able to see what's going on. Okay, that's better. <laughs> hey, look at that. Now I can actually fucking. Now you can hold your guns and fire away. Fire away, boys! Okay. <laughs> nope. Now you can hold your guns and fire away. Fire away! Well, now, listen up, listen up. Things have taken an unexpected turn, and I'm the first to admit that. Yeah, we're really going to send you at this point. We're just going to talk with the top of this dude because we've already heard him talking first yeah. time already. One more thing, don't. So yeah, they. Um, if you haven't played on uh, until dawn, essentially the whole game, there's a psychologist who inter interrupts between chapters of the game and asks you a few series of questions, and they send to being like, "What are you most afraid of? Girls or boys? Why? What are you more afraid of? Snakes or cockroaches?" And essentially, each one of those things essentially start to affect little things that appear in the game to try to freak you out more. Um, they're essentially using the similar kind of like mechanic for this to actually explain the guy at the beginning. There's something that's going on inside your head. You got Dueling your aim right now? Dueling shotguns, bitches. Dueling shotguns. <laughs> it really does. It's like, it's like yeah, slip not, the ball. rage of blood. The name of the song is Sickening Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sore on the arm. <laughs> what is? Just doing this! Well, I mean, that's essentially what you have to do to play this game. Yeah, remember shoot up bad guys? Ah, uh, I'm assuming they're. Remember right. how to reload? Oh, yeah. And you have to, whoa, whoa, you have to reload whoa, whoa. both guns. You have to reload both guns. Both L and L. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. Oh, yeah, because that's not creepy at all. Oh, Say hello uh, to the piggy. Wait, is there a dick under there? Nope. <laughs> Take it for dicks as you go through. All games need more dicks. All the, oh. Jesus. Get the pigs out of the way. That is quite disturbing. <laughs> This is the fact that it actually only shows you like the, just whatever your torches are actually looking about. Uh, looking oh. on. You gonna run out of shotgun shells? <laughs> oh, oh come blood. on! It bled on you. That's what happened. Oh, you got step in there. And I made it through the meat factory. Oh, watch out for that hook. Yeah, whatever, shotgun. 
dead. You wanna run under shells though? You gotta read it? Ah, it's not alright. Whoa! <laughs> Do you get a real feel for it now? I bet, yeah. <laughs> I would prefer to be to have my fucking hand separate it. <laughs> my gun separate. Ah, uh, so you could actually be pointing in two different directions. Fucking right. <laughs> Dude, at all the things! Oh yeah, yeah, same thing. Hi, family. Yo, it's going wild. <laughs> nope. That kid was a fucking weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being on camera. Yeah, you, you need a break for Yeah, <laughs> just realized that. Ow. It's in the face. Whoa, more things that you need in the face. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this must, be, this must be what it looks like to be in Conway's brain. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, delightful. All the happy, happy memories. All the, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, that's like something out of Doctor Strange. Funny if Doctor Strange is some fucking trippy goddamn psycho killer movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Good. Weird. <laughs> yeah, because this wouldn't Just fucking... a rotating corridor is actually always a nice touch. So, do you know what they need to do? They need to actually add this in. Oh, cool. Could be even monster. Pennywise! Pennywise! <laughs> As well, though, Pennywise. Hey, yeah, you've got a pistol in one hand now, and you've run out of shot. Oh, you run out of shotgun shells. Shoot him in the eye! Shoot him in the eye! There you go. Oh, what the fuck? The poltergeist. Gotta keep shooting them. Almost dead. I'm not entirely sure what way I'm sitting anymore. Am I even facing the TV? Does it matter? No. <laughs> well, I can imagine all those are gonna crush me. Oh, fuck. Give me dude. You might want to remember yeah, to reload. Uh, reload. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> So this year, Fire Panic just kind of sets in as soon as things actually does. start running at you. It does. Also, I think my coordination between guns are a bit fucked now. <laughs> yeah, so there is a definite drift whenever you're actually sitting facing one direction. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially, your controller, the the hands and controllers in your hands and the headset drift apart. Yep. So that you're looking one way and the controllers are going another way, and that's not good. I mean, that's that actually, is not good. Like, you said you, your accuracy drops the longer you play the game, and the only way to learn how to play that kind of game is just not the. Play. Yeah. Oh fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I killed five bones. <laughs> no, there's 25 more. Yeah, I think the whole point is that you might actually headshot those rather than actually like hammering shots. You like pick a shot, pick a shot, pick a shot, sadly. Nope, that did not help me at all. <laughs> Your shotgun's cold. Do you be one of those things where. Are you aiming now? <laughs> Dude, look at the way I'm sitting. I know. I have the point that got the. It's crazy fucking... that that doesn't work. Like, it's actually, like, that's that's not fun, man. There's no way that can actually be. Like, the, I'm, I'm... this is a demo, and it has. Like, that's not a very good representation of the PSVR in any way, shape, or form. Because you're literally having to point like, off. Look at the way I'm pointing this now just to be in the center. That's not right at all. Because that's the thing. I'm... And my fucking hands don't stretch that part. Yep. 
But uh, I would give up on this, to be honest, man, because that's not an enjoyable experience in any way, shape, or form. And I'm not going to... It's just like, since you were going to, see, <laughs> we're going to see the same bit over and over again because of it. Because the hardware has actually, like, failed us at this point. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits in this one. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Oh, my God. Yeah, so... Until Dawn, Russia Blood. Yeah, <laughs> that is absolute garbage. The, uh, the, the fact that... Right, right, don't get me wrong, it'll be, it would be enjoyable if you had both the wands or you had like maybe something else to use as a secondary controller. Well, I, th- I mean, either way, secondary controller, like the wands, the case with them would be that they have gl- balls of light. So instead of actually having to follow a strip of light that's on the front of the controller, they're a lot easier to trace. So whenever you're shooting them, you're holding them up so that the bonds of light are actually being spotted and moved around so you can be seen at all times. Yep. Now, with the controller, I'm imagining with the strip being there and your hands going over the top of the buttons on occasion, and you may actually like cover part of the strip as well while doing so. And whatever way you move it, it might be lost. They lose tracking of the control pads so much quicker. What did you have a hand like this? That's what I mean. With the, you're, you're having to put it there, and that's because it's actually like caught a glimpse of the light in some way, shape, or form, and it's gone bad. And they have, they're going to try to retrack it, retrack it, retrack it. Whenever they're picking it up, it's getting further and further away from center line. Yep. And there's no quick way to actually put that center line back. Yep. Which is what most of the other games have, where as soon as you hit the options button, it recenters your vision and recenters your view and recenters your controls. And that game doesn't have that. No. And that is not. a major, major flaw with the design, which again is because yeah. of it being like the first kind of like games that came out for this. Uh, it makes me wonder, VR. like, there's adoptions at the start. There was a, an option to like upgrade the full game. Yeah. Now, does that mean if I did upgrade the full game, the full game going to be patched to me? Is it going to gonna be just. Bullshit. From what I could tell that this game actually has received patches since, but I don't think it's a patch to fix that problem. I think it's still patches for other things, but the um they, I've heard issues exactly what you just suffered suffered through whenever people whenever this game. You weren't being out. suffered. Yeah. And so essentially like the it's a game that actually is flawed in its design. Concept, great fun. That's oh, yeah. the reason why a game like Mortal Blitz, which I was just mentioning earlier on, is just came out this week, has a lot more uh support and a lot more kind of like um controller configuration for you where you can play it with a gamepad and a wand or two gamepads or two wands and also has yeah, the ability if I, to... if I could have if you can f- could configure it like here's controller one here's controller two controller two you only use the le- the, the right, right side and the left right side. side and then the left one you use yeah. only the left stuff then you could fucking do a weed yeah and it works pretty fine perfect. because the controllers have multiple color, color leds on them so you can actually have them for separate controls and the, that's a big problem with rush of blood because of being one of the first games out of the gate for PSVR. You can imagine that we don't have the optimal situation for VR either in this room. We have a lot of light that would actually be interfering. So if you're using the dark, it might actually track it better because essentially just following objects of darkness. Meanwhile, we've got a lit studio to work out of. (laughs) So any lights that are bouncing off the walls or whatever else could be affected. Um, It's tracking. VR-wise, everything else has been been pretty pretty That game has been, uh, that game was awful to watch playing because it was actually disorientating, not fun. and. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Like it's it's one of the VR games that I just wouldn't recommend so far. Yep. It's, it's the most unrecommended game. Even though I would actually <laughs> recommend everybody try VR, this is the one I would go like, eh, skip this one. Well, at least you freaked out. <sighs> yeah, I mean it's it's freaking it could freak you out, but I mean you'd be better off playing Until Dawn. Yeah, right. which is a much better game, a much more enjoyable, a much better game. This feels a bit like a cash in, and since you just had a like a use of the license and of the environment to make a per game, so. Yeah, guys, not this one. Not going to give it a thumbs up, but uh, that's my opinions on Until Dawn, Russian Blood. Um, five, out of five? Uh, visually, I would definitely give it a fucking five to six. Again, visually, but mechanics. Mechanically wise, no, I did not. I did not enjoy that. Um, it was a pain. I think I may pull the may have pulled something on my goddamn fucking wrist because you're twisting around that way. Twisting goddamn around. wrist that round so far. Yeah. And then having to reach the actual trigger buttons just wasn't good. Not, not worth it. Not a great experience. So uh, we'll pass on Rush of Blood. Thank you very much, PSVR. Uh, we'll never, ever be playing that again here on the channel, even if he's requested underneath, because that was not enjoyable to watch. Well, but, I'll, I'll play it again if they send me money. If they send you a copy <laughs> of the game, maybe? And money. <laughs> and money. And money. Uh, for my medical bills to recover and repair my wrist. Yep. All right, fair enough. So, guys, if you enjoyed our opinions and enjoyed the gameplay of... Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, you can hit the subscribe button right above us up there. And that allows you to actually be able to check out the other videos here on the channel as well as the rest of the videos in this PlayStation VR series. I want to say thank you very much for watching. And goodbye from me and goodbye from him. Bye. We'll see all you do in the next video.
Bye.